The, 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 the dream is real. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And it's almost time for ho, ho, ho. Yeah, uh, bars, you ain't love that? I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the safest place on earth I call the love land. Uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's your lifestyle special, Kenny Burns, and these are my illustrious panel of superstars. Yeah, don't start shaking your head right now, Shook. We just, we just get, get, at least give me halfway through the episode before you start saying, Kenny, what the fuck are you doing? All right, ladies and gentlemen, why don't you start those round of applause? Her name is Cheryl Ray Reed. She's outside for the holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Double on time. Hello, y'all. <laughs> you didn't give us the hey, y'all. She said hello, y'all. All right, keep those round of applause going. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. Uh, I don't know what the fuck was going on. He tore his Achilles, and then he <laughs> caught the Ebola. All right, keep those round of applause. Keep those, <laughs> keep those round of applause going. Dr. Taule is back. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, ooh, yeah, I was about to say you just coughed. Are you all right? <laughs> did, you, did, you come, did you come back too soon, Negro? Uh, and big shout to Taylor Lay's daddy. He said, but why that boy in that podcast telling all them your name? Your name means something. So we going to just call him Dr. Taylor Lay from now on because we don't want no smoke from the elders. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. One time, bust that gun for them elders. Yes, we're going to do that every time. Uh, but as we... Come to a year's end. I want to start this episode off by telling y'all we have something special for you coming on Christmas. Oh, and I might just feel it in my spirit to drop it this weekend because, ladies and gentlemen, the TKBS Nation has come up with the best. I said it. Hold on. The best. One more time. The best Christmas list ever created. And we included everybody. Round of applause. We included everybody. We included everybody. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know some of y'all are like, but I want to hear the classics. Temptation, Silent Night is a must. Let it snow by boys and men. I got to have with me too. Come on, got uh, to have that. Uh, and we did it. And we put some Alexander O'Neill on the thing. But ladies and gentlemen, we got some things for you. Oh yeah, Coco Jones got one for you, head top. Okay, uh, October London. I've been teasing it. He got somebody gonna have some Christmas dinner and dessert. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and guess what? Guess what? Should, I ain't even know SWV had a Christmas banger. Okay? So big shout out to Tamar Brad. We got a whole lot of uh, interesting, amazing, beautiful, meaningful holiday songs. We don't call it holiday because I know a lot of us out there, we're not necessarily Christians. We got some Muslims, a part of the nation. We have some uh, spiritually advised in the nation. We got some Buddhists. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of people in the nation and we want to adhere to all the leaders of the spiritual realms. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, it's all the spiritual realm. We all believe in a high power round of applause for high power amen all right so the christmas yeah the tkbs criminal mix is coming out i might drop it this weekend all right ladies and gentlemen it's time for episode 63 because i would be doing you a disservice if i didn't come with that smoke before we got up out of here for the holidays okay huh and i mean it with all my heart okay it's called self-help all right, it's self-explanatory if you read in English. Self-help. Put it on the screen, Tiffany. Self-help. All right, but I'm coming for you self-help gurus. Uh, I'm coming for your self-help gurus right now because I'm tired. All right, the year is ending. I got Dr. Taylor back and I got Dr. Sugar. I got two resident doctors with PhDs and kiss my ass. All right, this we gonna bust that gun, huh? Because these self-help gurus can kiss all our asses, right? You got two light-skinned ass. I'm a little bit dark and terrible. You got a nice brown caramel ass. I ain't seen sugars. At. And then I don't know where the fuck Kendra's at. She's butt-naked on the beach somewhere. But we going to get to this self-help episode 63 right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to start with the financial literacy movement. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, you God. financial oh, gurus. <laughs> you you gonna sit down now, huh? You done raped and pillars <laughs> enough. You know, took advantage of the weak, meek, and vulnerable. You done did your job. Yeah, some people having terrible Christmases because of your ass. Yeah, you done promised them for $3,099 that they was gonna make $14 million in seven weeks. And what has happened? Huh? 
what is happening? Where are the funds? Huh? You've been you've been doing real estate with with a group of people, huh? And I'm not talking about DJ Envy. I pray my brother get up out that situation in a hurry. But you done took this money in real estate things, huh? Huh? You done took people money. You gonna build a new Black Wall Street? Where the fuck the money at? Sugar, Teule. What is going on in this financial literacy space right now, and how do you choose to burn it to the ground on this episode? So, unfortunately, <laughs> people, first of all, it's the word to it. But anyway, people think that things that um, they can do and make people do quickly are going to be long lasting. Oh. They are fooling themselves and other people. Now, Sometimes I wonder, do they actually think this? Yeah. Or are they just trying to get the money? Because some people really are gullible enough to think that whatever their course is, they're going to fix their life in a week. Right. How? Slave. Facts. How? It just don't happen how? like that. The, the laws of attraction, including the laws of subtraction, okay? Let's put your life you had for 35 years. You had life for 35 years. You ain't want to do no taxes, huh? You didn't want to pay that man, did you? Oh, oh, and then you ran up your credit card debt. So the laws of subtraction will equal to your ass being on your motherfucking head if you give your last and don't know where your last is going. That's all I'm saying. It made sense in my mind. I don't know if y'all heard the value of that statement or comment, but tell you what they tell me, man, because it's, 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 it's just ridiculous. You know, with the internets, man, and the way that these false prophets in the financial literacy space are just having their way. And people keep paying. They keep paying. They keep buying into the Ponzi scheme. Nigga! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> you know, it's, it's twofold for me. It's the, it's the wolf that's doing, you know, the biting. Right. And it's the sheep that refuse to learn. Ho ho hold, so on, hold, the board, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We miss you. We miss you. <laughs> it's the wolf that's doing the biting. Right? You had me there. Dude. I was, yeah. what? Round of applause for Taylor. God damn it. Sorry, continue. It's the wolf that's doing the biting. Make the t-shirt, Tiff. The wolf that's doing the biting and the sheep that refuse to, you know, to learn. Mm. Sheep are, are dumb animals. There's a, I think there's a reason why especially in you know spiritual uh, writings that right. human beings are called sheep because they need a shepherd Ooh. they need guidance wow because they just don't think on their own and that's what you see across the board you know this anti-intellectualism to where mm. people do not want to do the work themselves right you'd rather have somebody tell you you know give me 500 and then we're going to circulate this and when you give it back to me I'm gonna give you 1500. That doesn't work in anywhere. I don't even work in the dope game. Right. That works nowhere. That's a fact. But to think that you are going to just have a 90% increase on your bread, like that, that shows one that the person who's actually creating that is super devious. You're terrible because a rich person is normally, or somebody who's more informed is not gonna fall for that, right? That's right. So they know exactly who they can go to, which is individuals who more than likely, unfortunately, our community who's not gonna do the research, but who sees somebody with a platform, right? The platform automatically makes people feel like this person must know what they're right. talking about. They got 100,000 followers, so obviously they know what it means to invest. Yeah, yeah. And they have absolutely no clue. Yeah, listen, first of all, I keep seeing the sheep's face just looking like this. <laughs> oh, you motherfucking, look, look at your face. But I, you know, Back in the day, I get what you're saying. Meaning, remember Cleo, the psychic? You believe oh, man. because yeah. Cleo was on TV that she was telling the truth. Yeah. Now listen, that's as lame as it gets because Cleo was on television. You thought it was the truth and you're right. Today, you could buy followers. I, I know, I, and I don't want to call nobody out. This is the end of the year. I'm trying to show I grace. Know. Call them out. Call but I just be seeing people and it be like you had 10,000 followers. You probably earned. And 10,000 followers is a lot of people. It's, a lot of, it's people. a lot of people. But you want a million, so you bought 890,000 <laughs> followers. And it's like the fake jewelry, you know, the lion. It's like you're building your house on a weak foundation. You are building your, 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 your brand 
on falsities and lies. This, this is the biggest problem I have with the financial literacy, to tell you point. You are literally lying to people. You are saying, I'm going to do this service for this amount. And, and now that you've given me this money, oh, wait, all you motherfuckers gave me that money too? Oh, shit, I got $200 million? Let me go buy a boat. Let me go buy a house. Let me go buy all the things I ever wanted to buy. And your money is now gone. And they feel no way about it. I had to have this luxury because this has afforded me to continue to talk to y'all about the. It's like the church. I'm sorry. I'm going to pivot into the church because God <laughs> said so. But these God gurus are much like that, ladies and gentlemen. They want to, they want to put themselves on these pedestals, these una, unobtainable pedestals. And it's, it's unattainable. The things that are asked of you outside of respect, honor, decency, truth, you know, it's really unattainable. And I want y'all to, this is why I'm doing episode 63, self-help, because you got to start helping yourself. We keep depending on these financially literate people to put us in position to make some money. We keep depending on these God gurus, because to Taylor's point, really sheep. We need something to follow. And... When I look at these offerings that these people are giving, I'm coming to you, sugar. Like, it, it's it's unbelievable how we're continuously duped. The financial literacy guy talks like a dope boy. You should know off top that that's not that's not conducive for success. How did the street game go, player? Before you put down the keys, <laughs> huh? And you picked up some books that you really took cliff notes from and not read the whole thing. And now you want to share the cliff notes. How did the how did the street gang go? So if you're listening to this guy and, and, and he's telling you, basically, I come from the street. And he asking you for some money. And it's not like EYL giving you information back or putting you in a room full of people with information. Big up EYL. But other than that, like, what? What do you, the pastor then fuck oh my god half the congregation and you know Susie and, and Donna and then you heard he might have some extra curricular going on you know what I'm saying Eddie Long but all I'm saying is you you gonna just stand sugar help me because I, for the life of me we are the one race and, and, and listen big shout to Mary Barry one of the greatest mayors in the history of the world. He did cocaine, crack cocaine, yeah, dope. and had the okay. best summer programs for youths like me. And, and so I'm not saying people can't get high and do right. I'm not saying that people can't preach the word and, and, and be in the dominatrix. You know what I'm saying? But all I am saying is, <laughs> There has to be some clarity. No, no, sugar. It has to be some clarity in who we lifting up going forward in 24. Okay. Let's go back to the people trying to look like they got something that they don't. Mm. So the fake jewelry and all of this and you're in the financial literacy space. Um, unfortunately, people want to be big when little God, I'm in my daddy's voice. Hold on. When little God. <laughs> Holders. Like you can't try to want to, you can't want to seem like you have all of these things and you have, you ain't got to try to piss in on the window to throw it out of, like you, you don't have anything. You got a Ferrari parked in front of an apartment. How does uh. that work? Ooh. So that's one thing. Mm. And the second thing I'll talk about is related to the church space. Come on. Went in real quick. Yeah. So here's the deal. Please. We as parishioners or as sheep cannot hold people that are in leadership to an unrealistic standard and make it seem like they're not human. They are not God. Facts. Amen. They are not you get, you get a round of applause for that. They are not who the, that's not who we look to for for our guidance in, in life. They are who we look to to get along the way. Yeah. But they are not who we worship. So I'm not saying that all preachers are good people I'm not saying that all people are good people right. but what I am saying is that we have got to do a, a better job at not putting them on a pedestal where it's not an attainable thing because they're human beings too put that on the list round of applause for Sugar Dr. Sugar P.H. E.P.M.D. I am saying this too though with that <laughs> let's make this list y'all that's true. The reason I'm calling, we are calling this episode 63 self-help because you have to make the decisions for yourself. 
Oh yeah, Dr. Sugar put it eloquently. They gonna be there along the journey, but they are part of the journey. Uh, they are not the constant right. voice on your journey. They are not the constant battery pack in your back. They are not the constant encourager. They are a weekly contributor, monthly, however you do your thing, to the process that you have to create for yourself. The process has to come from you. We can keep mm -hmm. saying we're gonna got them, be financially literate, you know, and I'm getting into this love and relationships as well, because we this love and relationship shit is out of control. We're gonna get into that in one second. We'll just finish my point. My point is, you get up close to the screen, tell you miss your face. You, your nose hairs are clipped. It's a beautiful <laughs> sight. So the point I'm trying to make is though, we have to be the voices for our advancement. Listen to what I'm saying to you. We have to be the voices that are planning, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 or making this blueprint for our, hopefully our children to follow, our communities to follow. But I want to get into loving relationships because I'm tired. I'm busting the gun early because the first thing I want to shoot out the sky is the relationship gurus that ain't in the motherfucking relationship. Oh yeah, you get one more gun. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I swear. I, you are not in a relationship and you are on Instagram every single day talking about how to be in a relationship or what you are looking for in a relationship. Can I tell you one thing? You are fucking putting yourself out the game with the things that you say. It's unobtainable. Oh yeah. And we tapping in. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a great example of love gurus, relationship gurus. Look at black love. Do you follow the Black Love Movement? I want to just give a round of applause for the Black Love Movement. They aren't just saying their preferences. We can stop right there. If you got a motherfucker that's always talking about what they talking about and how they feel and they not in a relationship, please, please, help yourself, huh? Help yourself. But when you do, facts, right? But when you do, Look at a black love. They give you examples. They give you other people. They give you workshops. They give you things that really are need tools that are needed when in a relationship. But the first thing we got to deal with, and I want I want your opinion, Sugar and Taylor, like, because it's to the point where you know they lying. And the main ingredient to a relationship is the truth. When a motherfucker you know is just like saying some shit that they ain't done, that's a lie. I can't. It ain't, it ain't no dancing around it. You could wish that. You could hope for that, but have you done it? What have you done? Do you even know the first thing about a motherfucking relationship? Do you have you been in a relationship long enough to even have a fucking opinion? I'm not talking about being sexmatized. I'm not talking about you know what I'm saying being in a relationship based on circumstances. I'm not saying based on you know what I'm saying a transaction. I'm saying a real relationship. But Taylor, please, because. My head hurt. It's like I got a pounding on the right side. Every day I wake up, these motherfuckers be talking about shit they ain't even done. It, again, I think it's just anti-intellectualism, right? A lot of these people come on a platform and just because they understand something doesn't mean you are professional or that you have true expertise, wisdom in that category, right? Expertise, right? So, I mean, I could have some understanding in a relationship and been on that doesn't mean I'm, I'm not an expert nor should I be giving you advice on what to do with the relationship as opposed to, why don't you go out and find somebody, right? Individuals on Black Love who may be doctors who have studied this. Does anybody on this podcast go to a doctor who doesn't have an actual degree? Hello? Who just, who just does something like, oh, you know, I can probably help you fix that. No, you don't. So why would you go to a platform to an individual who doesn't have any type of expertise, never studied, maybe read five books in their life on relationships, have no peer reviewed information that they can provide you with. It's just, hey, this is what it is. <laughs> no, okay, where'd you get that from? See, in my day, my daddy and them taught us in the Black Panther circles, it is no study, no speak, which means if you don't know what you are talking about, if you can't give me five peer reviewed reference points, to your opinion, then do not speak. Why? Facts. Because you you have the ability to kill somebody with bad information. Dog. And everybody's not going to go out there and read and research. But you have the ability to kill people with bad information. You kill relationships. So now you got women going home talking about, well, you don't do this for me. And such and such said, okay, now you didn't mess up their relationship. They are. 
officer. <laughs> Listening to now your you ass. Brother going home. Right. The brother going home like, well, you don't do this no more for me. That's not good information. You're yeah. killing off relationships. And then let me say this last point. Any guy who has a platform that is catering to women, you're a weirdo. Dog. You do not know what women are going through, nor can you speak to women's emotions, nor can you speak to their intellect and what they should be doing. You are a weirdo, and everybody who keeps getting caught up in these scams, Facts. what's their platform about? They've been talking about women, and they've been super whores. Dog, let, hold on, sure. round of applause, Ra round of applause. I, and Sugar, I'm coming right to you, but I, I gotta say this. God rest the dead, what's the boy named Kevin Samuels? Right now, if you listen to anything long enough, you're going to see some truth in it. Some truth in it does not mean that the body of work is the truth. To tell you point, you saying these things, you don't realize the power of the tongue. That man got arrested there. He done fucked up more relationships then a little bit, but but he spawned a whole generation of motherfuckers to your point that aren't even the opposite sex talking about that. You don't got no ovaries. You can't give birth. You don't have the first inkling or idea of hormonal women shit. You just don't. Therefore, if you were in a relationship, if you ever were an expert at solving problems in a relationship, if your shit lasted longer than some fucking decades, I might listen to you. Because you might know what you're talking about. You done seen death in the families. You done seen all types of up and down financially. You done seen sex come and go. You done seen some shit. And I'm going to hear you if you done been through some shit. But that's why I sugar like in my mind... To his point, you got women and men speaking on the opposite sex as if they are living that life. You, you can't possibly understand it unless you live it. So my issue is this. People um, synonymize facts and feelings, and they are not the same. Synonymize. Yeah. Hold on. Synonymize. That sounds like Someone sodomize, but it means agree? more. Sorry, go ahead. We got to stop acting like our feelings are facts. Our feelings are just that. Facts. Our feelings are just how we feel and they ebb and flow. They go up and down. It depends on the way the wind is blowing. I might feel like this one day. I might feel like this another day. The facts Preach. are facts. Facts are facts. Regardless of the day, regardless of the hour, regardless of how you feel, the fact remains. So that's one of the issues that we have. And so when... We are listening to these people on social media platforms or whatever, wherever you're listening to them. Um, if something piques your uh, insecurity or if something um, triggers you, you identify with it and then you make it a fact. You right. can't make things a fact. Either they're a fact or they're not. P but you are. Oh! You, <laughs> Either they are or they're not. People are really, people really have a hard time with. Um, having a, a, a distinct se separation of whether something is factual or something is a feeling. So whenever I was in my last relationship, it took a while for me to get to the point where I wasn't talking about my feelings. I'm talking about facts. Yeah. You said you were going to do this. You didn't do it. No facts. You said that you were going to, you know, whatever. You're going to change this time. You're going to You're going to do things all different. And guess what you did? The same thing. The same and thing. And guess what I said? The you can't tiptoe in and out of my life. You can go on. What did I say on that episode, y'all? You can't enjoy me and treat me like shit. That Come does on. not work. Mm. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Mm. Hold on. Mm. Do I need to fuck somebody up this Christmas? I just need to know right now. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, That's shit. Good. Did I? I'm good. I felt. <sighs> Woo! Yeah. You feel me? Okay. Done. Well, <laughs> all right. Well, I'm. I, you know, this is why. I feel so connected to y'all because, you know, this opposite sex guru, I know about you, I can tell you about you. If you're lucky to be in tune with somebody like that and be able to speak to their spirit, that's something you should value and honor. It shouldn't be a reckless fucking tool for you to go and try to judge every other single person in that fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like you should not, that should not be what you do. 
I'm, I'm, I know my superpower. I know I connect with people, especially women. And if I'm going to use my superpowers for anything, it's going to be for good. TKBS Nation, the time to celebrate with your friends and families are upon us. And the good folks at Glade have a new collection of limited edition fragrances for you. Everyone loves spending time with their loved ones at the dinner table as you kiki and converse. I know I love my family. But guess what? Sometimes those Brussels sprouts don't smell too good after they've been sitting in that tray. But what you going to do? You're going to make the best with what you got. You're going to get the golden pumpkin and spice. That starlight and snowflakes. You're going to change the fragrance game. From a homecoming brunch to a cozy, cold movie night, Glade is the perfect must-have to set the vibe for every celebratory occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, do what your lifestyle specialist Kenny Burns does and change the game this season with Glade. Our friends at Frito-Lay know that joy is bold, vivacious, and contagious. Joy gives life flavor, rhythm, and vibes. And when joy takes flight, it can't be contained. It is robust, more than a smile or a laugh. It's an infectious experience. So here's to all the creators that inspire us with your creativity and passion. Let's keep filling the world with joy and make sure you look out for the My Joy campaign, powered by Frito-Lay. If you like using debit over credit, don't you think it's time to get rewarded? Well, now you can with Discover Cashback Debit. It's a checking account that rewards everyone with cash back on everyday purchases, plus on all the things you've been contemplating for a really long time. So that concert, no brainer. Self-care, yes please. Do what you love and get cash back while you're doing it. Check out eligibility and terms at discover.com slash cashback debit. Discover Bank, member FDIC. Hey, Red, what are you up to? Just making sure all the M&M's gifts are wrapped and the ball is filled. Remember that one holiday party when we had no M&M's? Oh, boy, I still have nightmares. The cookies? Yeah, you used all the M&M's candies that were meant to decorate the party treats to decorate snowmen. You did it again, didn't you? <laughs> they do look cute, though. Bringing cheer, M&M's for all fun kind. TKBS Nation, I'm often asked, Kenny Burns, what gives you your confidence? You always seem to meet the moment head on. I always reply, because I'm always going to show up how I want to be received. That's why when you see me, I'm always dressed for the occasion. Whatever stage or platform I'm on, I don't shy away from the light. I embrace it. And imagine having all that presence and energy to then open my mouth and have bad breath? Nope, not me. Not never. Orbit Gum is here to celebrate the nation because we wear our our confidence with pride. We call it that ding. The world often wants you to stay silent and our whole mission at TKBS is for you to use your voice as loudly and confidently as possible. Orbit Gum, making people feel fresher and more confident as soon as you open your mouth. Confidence is contagious. Do what makes you ding. I tell my youngest all the time, and I said this, I think, on the last episode, when you think about how to treat women, people always want to use the dick game. That's probably a big piece of it in the beginning, but to hold anything, you have to have the mental. To sustain anything, you have to be mentally connected. So I'm, I'm you know, I, I'm just so connected with y'all, and the reason I think I am is because there are age limits for advice, and each one of you bring a certain amount of time spent on this fucking planet so that you have life experiences to refer to and or talk to. I'm tired of all these people that haven't lived enough life being experts on anything, really. There are nuances. There are special individuals in this world that have unbelievable knowledge and power. They've been here before. You remember your granddaddy, your grandmama now? Oh, you, well, you know she, oh, that, that, that's like your great, great. They've been here before. They done got something transcended through the portal and they have some super natural <laughs> shit going on. But the rest of you motherfuckers, you need to really have some experience at life. Now, I ain't talking about the rhetoric. People can have a nuance and this special skill sets and, and hit points in those worlds. But I'm talking about what we offer here at TKBS is a full rounded offering. It ain't no my opinion runs the world. It ain't no Sugar's opinion runs the world. Teule, you know, Kendra. Like it's not it's Tiffany. It's not like, you know, and I, that's what I want the ecosystem of the social sphere to be. I want it to be people of a certain age and experience leading because the problem I have right now is that in this social digital world we are getting pushed to the side as if we don't have the most knowledge as if we don't have the most to offer especially the ones who want to empower the youth exchanging of information is the reason why civilization continues to grow how communities continue to grow 
not the holding and, and contracting information, not the possessing and hiding or tucking away so ain't nobody got no information. And all the internet is doing, all social media is doing, the reason I fucking want to talk about self-help episode 63 is because it's making you dumb. It's making you dependent and it's making Gosh. you get further and further away from the end game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about self-helping ourselves to the end game. I was talking to a financial advisor, right? In my mind, I know a lot about money because I don't give a fuck about money. And it makes sense in my head because I do exactly what I need to do with the money. I don't, there's no extra nothing. All right, if I want to do this, I got to do this. It's one plus one equals two. But you talk to a financial advisor, they want to say, well, you can, you can not pay off, you know, because I'm in that phase of my life. I don't want no debt. To me, in my mind, that makes a lot of sense. No debt? If my biggest debt is this and that's gone, what am I, you, you feel what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm on the end of my, you know, I'm not on the end of my life, but I'm on the end of my, who I'm defining myself as and what I'm going to be to my people. I'm on the end of that. I'm Kenny motherfucking Burns. It don't get no better in my, in my mind, right? Yeah. So my offering, I'll stay open and receive to do things and have this connection with people because that's my life's work. But ladies and gentlemen, when you think about this conversation I'm having with this financial literacy person, it's like, well, my, you might not want to pay all your debt off. Why the fuck not? I don't... In my mind, and this is this is why I'm saying self-help. I've lived enough life to know what bills do to a motherfucker. I'm, I've lived enough life to know what I like to do with my motherfucking money. You understand what I'm saying? So I think as we get into this new year, y'all, yes, we want to fucking Dr. Sugar's point. We want to have pieces in place that are like a fucking ping ball machine. You know when that ball shoots up and it's hitting side to side and it's going this, that, and the third? The goal is to get this motherfucking interaction and this energy and this information but keep playing the fucking game. But guess who's playing the game? You. Not these other motherfuckers. They're not in charge of your decisions. They're not in charge of your decisions. You have to make the decision. Now you know what comes with decision making now. With decision making comes some hard truths and realities. Be a motherfucking man or woman with your motherfucking choices. Because guess what's gonna happen? I've learned this and you can take it from me. I done put a few motherfuckers on their head. And guess what putting them on their head did for me? It helped me use the power of no, which will be our first episode of the year. It helped me use the power of my own offering. Not what somebody your association did for that offering. I don't. I'm sorry to catch the Holy Ghost in this bitch. Huh? I don't know what you're hearing, but I hope it's resonating because we depend on too many people to help us. These self-help gurus are hurting us. They're hurting us. We're becoming dependent. Church was one thing because the right messaging is in the Bible. The right messaging is in the Quran. The right messaging is in all religions that have it higher power and invite you to be good versus bad or good versus evil. All that means something. But you got to carry out the order. And I want to know how y'all feel about that because I feel like we're in this place right now more than ever coming into this political year. And I'm going to get on that momentarily. Fuck all the politics. We need you humans. But we got to know who we are to know who we want in office or who we want to be the pastor of our churches or who we want to be president of these CEOs of these companies. Motherfuckers do not get pushed to that pedestal without you. We got to really have a better uh, sense of self because Amen. listening to what everybody says and making it gospel is a problem. Ooh. When I was super active in church, if the person that was preaching said something that I was like, yeah, I don't know about that. I'm not a man in that. I'm going to ask them, hey, can we stay at the church? I'm for real. And then, and, what? And then if you, if you can, if you can kind of guide me through to show me where I can look to get some more information, then we're on the same page. If you can't, then I don't have any, I, I don't need to be emotionally um, excited because of something you said. I really want to know what they're, whether they're substance. No, for real. And unfortunately, a lot of people really depend on what other people say like they sit in a lecture instead of studying the, the, the stuff that they need to study so that they'll know because the bible says study to show thyself approved that doesn't mean go to church and just listen and do it yeah. no you gotta have it in you 
so you can have it something to apply to it and that's just outside of church too Facts. you got to have something in you so if somebody is giving you some good information about self-help then you'll have something to apply it to because if not it's not going to stick to nothing it's yeah. not going to stick that's facts. That's facts. I, I love that. Round of applause. I, you know, I think that too, you know, and Taylor, I want to get your perspective on this because we're getting into this political, you know, year. It's, it's coming. I mean, it's here. Um, I think between Donald Dump being in office, seeing how old Biden is, um, and I needed you here last week, but you had the Ebola. But, you know, when you look at that, and I want to give you a chance to speak to that because there's everything to do with these political pundits taking advantage of the ignorant, right? Um, because they're just feeding you with information that they want you to have. Um, the reason I unfollowed and followed Sean King right back, it's like I didn't see anything coming from any news cycle that was coming from his page. And I need to see the balance. Definitely not looking at everything you post, and I'm so glad Instagram put that click here if you want to see it because I already know what it's going to be. But to know it exists <laughs> helps me make better informed decisions. And as we look at this year coming up, it's like, you know, we know that there's other people that are running the world. You can call them what you want, the Illuminati, the Breakfast Club, whatever it is. You know, it's people, and I'm not saying that's the Breakfast Club, right? but I'm just saying, call them what you want. But there are people that are really moving the needle. And I think we've known, or should have learned by now, rather, that you gotta do what's best for you where you live. Ladies and gentlemen, state and local, it's so important, but you can go meet these state and local motherfuckers. I don't think you understand the value about, about your presence with them. The questions you could have, looking someone in the eyes. But, you know, get into this topic, Taylor. I want to know how you feel about it, man, because you, you were asking last week, and I know you had a lot to say. You know what? It's, I mean, we've said it so many times, but it's super important. Um, information, being informed, takes work. And it's a work that so Facts. many people just every most people want something spoon fed to them. They want a microwave. Who should I vote for? What is the only way you can vote for Donald Trump as a black person is because you're just not informed. Yes, you're misinformed. Right. Because if you look at a person's track history, track record, you look at the history of them as a human being. Yes. There's no way you're going to vote for that individual. So we go to the polls and we just bubbling in like a bad SAT. You have to get yeah. informed. It takes sitting down sometimes, getting a pamphlet and spending two to three hours reading what these people are talking about instead of sitting in front of an idiot box trying to be informed. You right. can't have an opinion on Gaza without being informed. Facts. You can have an opinion. Let me, let me scratch that. You can have an opinion, but it won't be a well-informed one if you don't no, know I got the it. history of what has gone on in that region. So I implore people, I turn the TV off, get a book, some Google information and or ask somebody who was informed, get some information to where you can make a decision that makes sense. Too many of us are doing emotional type of bubbling in. Facts. Instead of saying, okay, let me figure out why would I listen to this person on this podcast? What are they talking about? What's their history? Yes. Don't just come to them because everybody can get, I mean, marketing companies will pay you if they just see a following listen they don't care really what you're talking about that's why you can have a kevin samuels can just get bread and nobody really cares what he's talking about who's not informed right? no listen any informed individual can be like yo this dude is you're you're full of it i listen. can go to any church yes and know when the pastor is full of it full of himself right why because i am informed yeah about what i'm reading that's why there's a very important scripture where god who is all knowing, all powerful, yes. everywhere, still tells human beings, you have to keep knocking, you have to keep seeking, and you have to keep asking. Why would an all powerful God who's everywhere, who knows everything, says you gotta keep doing the work? Because it's not for him, it's for you. And it's never ending. Only, never ending. You have to continuously knock and figure out, okay, what am I trying to do with my life? Yes. It doesn't just come with, uh, osmosis, get that out of your head. That's Hollywood. You have to keep as a human being trying to inform yourself, whether it's your relationship, your political view, your, your friend circle. It has to continuously be something about growth. If not, you are going to fall for anything. Yeah. And yeah. that's what you see with this political cycle. People fall for anything. They can show you dead babies all day about Gaza, but do you understand what's really happening? Behind it, yeah. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Round of applause. You got to really understand what they're talking about to know why the Israeli people are, you know, the, the Israeli government is super wrong. Yeah. I don't have a problem saying that. Yeah, and, and, and listen, and they're telling you, better. and they're telling them, Teole, that you, you look at these sound bites from Netanyahu, the head of the, the military, they talking about great, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about annihilation of race type shit. And so I, I want to say this because you, you mentioned something that's very important. And I want to speak directly to these corporations that feel that they have to adhere to this algorithm and adhere to all this negative attention to align in your partnerships. Um, mm -hmm. There's way too many you know, organizations that are on the right side of history. It's edutainment in the way that you can compete in the you know ecosystem, and it's also the things you want to really encourage and amplify so that others can mimic and come behind them in the right trajectory. Mm -hmm. Instead of all these ignorant people that you're making millionaires because they're being ignorant. I understand you want to sell products, but we are in a, uh, we are at the precipice, you know, in humanity where, okay, you have half of, you know, our communities doing the right shit and half doing the wrong. I was at Michigan State University this past weekend. Big shout out to my nephew, uh, Justin White. Uh, round of applause. I love you, champ. You did that. Um, and he's the first of my crew, my main crew, to graduate and get a four-year degree. And when I was at the graduation, this one young lady impressed me so much. I think her studies was like wildlife. And I'm like, what is she? She had on like the Trek boots. Like she looked like she literally just came off the trail under her thing. And I'm like, what is she going to say? And when I tell you she wowed me, I'm talking about floored me. The intelligence, the vision, the understanding of her emotions at 23 years, 22 years old. Like it was just, it had me thinking that the future is bright. But that's why I want to encourage you, you know, you corporations, because you have the power to make it right. Ain't nobody on Instagram doing dumb shit if they're not getting paid to do dumb shit. It's that simple. And I got a little story time uh, before we, you know, get into this next topic. Sugar. This is the story time. This is the story time. Ladies and gentlemen, Ye has resurfaced. All right. Oh. Uh, he had a Ku Klux Klan mask on, black version. Which is part of his playbook. I mean, back in the day, he had to, he tried to take the Confederate flag and put it on a jacket. I never forget, I got the jacket in the mail. I took that motherfucker off and put an eagle on it. I don't know what was in my spirit that just <laughs> felt like putting the eagle where the, the Confederate flag was. Because I wasn't, I, I thought I understood. And I still think that he does these things to fuck with the psyche. I'm going to take American norms, you know, and flip it on his head. Get that. Could be still his blueprint and what he wants to offer. But the other the day I called my little brother Jeff he owns Event Noir if you're on Event Bright and you use you know that for your parties go to Event Noir and use that black owned agency but I called him because out of all the people I saw popping up in the yay sphere I mean I saw yes jewels I mean big shout out to yes jewels but I suggest you get a hold of what's going on baby girl because you don't ever want to be the butt of the joke Matrix. yeah the butt of the joke um, but you know, I'm seeing all the people around, I saw Jeff, and I'm like, oh, Jeff is super solid. Anytime I've ever talked to him, it's always been like great energy. You know, he met me like most do. He hired me to do a little introduction to stand the third, but I respected his business and how he saw business because ladies and gentlemen, in this world of all this shit we don't like, there is a layer of it that you got to deal with on some level yep. to get money. I don't want you to let that go over your head. So anyway, I called Jeff. I said, Jeff, What's up, player? He's like, oh, what's up, OG? How you doing, man? I was like, nothing, man. How's the family? You know, we're going through the whole little thing. And then I was like, yo, I saw you with Ye. And I think he knows, how, you know, what's coming next just because I've been outward just with these types of um, conversations as it, as it adheres to Ye, Puff, so on and so forth. So he's like, what's up? I was like, yeah, I saw you, um, you know, out there with Ye, man. You know, I saw you had your team out there, which was dope for me because... I believe in any situation you want to put people on and you also want to get money and you also want to grow from the experience. But I wanted to know why he was there. And he was like, nah, man, you know, he hired me to use Event Noir to sell the tickets or to give the tickets for, you know, these raves that Ye's been doing. I was like, oh, that's dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to definitely bring a lot of attention to his platform. But then I was also telling him, I was like, you know, but when I saw the rant in the room, 
You know, he was saying in the room that he don't need nobody, especially the people in the room. He said that, you know, it was him and God. It was I mean, his rhetoric was the same old yay. So I wanted to tell him in this conversation, like, I understand how Event Noir is going to benefit. But I also want you to understand about you, the brand, people buying into you. People are following your lead as it adheres to Event Noir, but you're at a particular place in your life where, you know, you can guide, lead, and be the example. You know what I mean? Because there's not too many people I'm seeing in culture leading, putting all their people on, doing black only, this, that, and the third, and he's one of them. So I was like, yo, man, I just want you to, you know, stay on the thing. He's like, yo, KB. And this is why I love talking to my youngest. He was like, yo, KB, basically, you know, this is business. Ain't nothing personal. I got a group chat right now that Ye's in. I'm the only one bucking back because I'm not that guy. And I just wanted to hear that, y'all. And I want to give a round of applause to Jeff because you got to have an opinion. You know what I'm saying? You got to get tail lay scheduled for a bowler shot. Um, you got to have... <laughs> You have to have, <laughs> I gotta get my, my yellow fever shot before I go to Ghana too, by the way. But you gotta have, you got to have a foundation, people. Mm-hmm. You have to be standing on something. The youngest saying stand on business, you have to be standing on a foundation that's secure. And I was calling him to make sure his foundation was secure, and it is. So again, big shout out to Event Noir. If you have events, man, support my little brother's business. He's dope. Um, a big shout out to Chicago because that's where he's from. But as we wrap this up, y'all, we're getting ready for the holidays. Um, and I didn't want to end the year with a year in review this year because we've had some amazing episodes. All the clips are available on our YouTube page, the Kenny Burns YouTube page, and also uh, the Kenny Burns on Instagram and Facebook. But I wanted to kind of give us something to really think about. We're about to be with our families. We're about to have conversations. I'm sure you guys are going to have, well, I saw, I heard your podcast. I seen you on this. Oh, you're doing this, that, and the third. And I think that things that happen like that are, one, reminders of where we are and where we're going. But then, two, how do we want to show up better in 24? How do we want to show up in you know, really add value to what we've been building on because ladies and gentlemen, this foundation is strong. We have not had one celebrity interview. I get called weekly about celebrities wanting to come on, people in business, people that want to, but my thing is that I think I never want to clutter this with agenda. And regardless of, you know, if someone's coming on literally trying to, you know, push their agenda on us, they're going to be selling us something. They're going to (laughs) be trying to get, you know, something across where we can tune in or, and I want this to be genuinely about these type of conversations because I think people leave this thinking about it. Not in the way where I got to go watch something to hopefully get the message. No, we saying exactly what it is. So as we leave them, y'all, I want to give you the opportunity to, you know, talk to the nation directly about self-helping, helping yourself and how you would suggest they go about it. I think you have to, it's extremely important that you know exactly what you want. Amen. You'd be surprised how many times I ask somebody like, what are you looking for? And they can't name it. Or if I say, okay, so what is the issue? But they can't name it. Yes. It is extremely important. If you're going to write a list, which I think you should, yes. you have to know, pinpoint what you are trying to accomplish, whether it's short or long term. Yes. If you cannot speak specifically to what you are trying to do. Yeah then you don't know. Facts. And you can't address it. Facts. We're talking about being informed, right? You have to know specifically what you are trying to accomplish, what you want to change, yes. sit down with yourself, figure out some of the things you need to work on and pinpoint those things specifically and then move from there. But if you can't answer your own question, how can anybody else help? Yeah, and writing it down, round of applause, writing it down allows you to revisit you know the feeling you felt when you wrote it so that means if you're feeling it and i'm coming to you right now sugar if you're feeling you're looking at it even if you think you're done with it you know when that completion of that feeling comes along Mm -hmm. and that way you can really scratch it out or you can leave it untouched and revisit or put a little note in attached so i love that but sugar talk to the people Ben. so what what they said was you really need to be able to pinpoint what it is that you want and just to pivot from that you have to get out of your own way. You got to believe that you can have what you want. You have to believe that you can have what you want. Stop shooting yourself short. Stop 
saying, well, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, do it. Even yeah. if it's not perfect, do it. Yeah. You've got to make sure Facts. that you know who you are all the way in the inside of your soul, at your core. That way you can know that you can do the things that you want to do and you can pinpoint them more easily. Because if you are not able to know who you are and you just flailing around the world just yeah. th with no, your GPS ain't even on. You just out here Woo. taking a joyride. <laughs> you gotta Woo. know what your destination is. You have to know what your destination Amen. is. So you'll know what you need to do in order to get to the destination. I love it. Thank I you. love it. Yes, a round of applause. It's, it's yeah, really. yeah. Hey y'all um, I, I, I love what you said What both of you said And Taylor I want to speak to that first I just had my uh, Variety deadline uh, All these amazing platforms that announced Fight Night The million dollar heist will be coming uh, mm. Actually we start shooting uh, In February uh, Thank you very much And I am uh, uber excited about it But one thing to Taylor's point that I did Is that when I knew that was coming And the writer strike was over over and all the things were back in place. I went and got this board, y'all. And on this board, I was like, yo, I gotta put down all the things that I wanna see for myself this year, right? So we have, mm -hmm. you know, let me read it to you for those who are not watching the video. I have, you know, the podcast, which is my main thing. People are always asking me what's next. This podcast is it. This is the main thing now. When you want to tap in with me, I don't know if you're going to be seeing me in places outside as much in 24. So you might want to tap into the TKBS podcast. Um, content and production. I have a book, WMM. I'm going to be releasing the title on the top of the year. I have a testimony, which is a documentary, but I'm calling it the WMM testimony. Um, I have a movie um, called Fantasy Real that I wrote a script about 20 years ago almost so for those who have ideas and you think it's over or you go back get that idea huh make it better huh add value to what you've learned in those 20 years so you can imagine what Preach. i'm gonna do with that motherfucker um i have a story yeah. about my college days um you know i have the tony lewis story you know, big shout to Tony Lewis Sr. who just came home for doing 34 years in prison. He was a part of one of the biggest drug cases in DC history. Um, and big shout to Tony Lewis Jr. who is an activist and made a way out of no way. So I love you, brother. Um, and then we have other content, right? But the point is, is like, we have to, now more than ever, be intentional with our planning. You too motherfucking old. Not to know who you are and what you want. You just too motherfucking know. And if you don't know, you gotta make peace with what you got. Come on, y'all. Let's make peace with what we have anyway, though. Like, mm -hmm. be be true. You might have had all these dreams and things you wanted to do. Might not be happening. It's nothing wrong with attaching yourself to someone else's dreams. It's nothing wrong with attaching yourself to somebody that has a better view than you do. It's levels. It ain't nothing wrong with it, y'all. So I encourage you as you get into this holiday season with your families to lock in and think about what both of these beautiful humans said, like what you really want. 24 is the year to make all that happen. All right, don't forget, we have the TKBS Crummer. It might look like Christmas. It's Crummer. <laughs> A mix, right? We're going to drop it on your head top. It might be Friday. It might be Saturday. But we're going to drop it on your head top so you can listen to it all the way through Christmas with your beautiful families. If you don't celebrate Christmas, it don't motherfucking listen matter. To it. Huh? Listen to it listen anyway. To it through yeah, li listen to it and just feel the spirit of giving, of camaraderie, of family, of love, and of, of, of community. That's what that's what the holiday season is all about. So even if you don't celebrate it, you know what I'm saying, enjoy it. It's some beautiful songs that you know and new ones that you will. And I promise you're gonna love it. It's the best mix ever. And I guess Kendra's in Mexico, um, living her best life. So on the count of three, we miss you, Coco, Kendra, Kenya, Happy Keisha, birthday, bro. Uh, Karma. AK 5K. She yeah, you was missing Taylor. She got a new motherfucking name, Carmel. All right, here we go. One, two, three. The dream, the dream is, is real. Is. We love you. Happy holidays. The, 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 the dream is real.